Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm just going to do a few pieces together of vloggy type things, nothing in particular. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Alex, I am a stay at home mum with a nearly 13 month old son who is right here. This is Jed, I can't believe how big he's getting. He just looks so tall. Hello mister, can you see yourself? Hi. <laughs> um, we have had a pretty quiet week this week so we've started swimming lessons which Jed's really enjoying and so am I um, and then we did have two other like meetups with my mum friends and their babies who are around his age this week but both of those fell through which just happens because there's sickness and various other things so you have to expect that um, but yeah, because of that, we've had a bit of a quiet week. So I was going a bit stir crazy. So Jed and I just went on a little trip to Bunnings, which is quite fun if you're looking for something to do because I just sat him in the trolley and they like, there's so many things to look at, lots of different textures to touch and things like that. But we actually did have a purpose. Where is the thing that I bought? Oh, over here. We did have, oh, I'm trying not to show you my mess because everything's a little messy. We, um, we left straight after lunch so that I could get back before nap time and I didn't clean the kitchen. And if you're a mum with little babies and toddlers at home, you'll know that like lunchtime, you could have a really clean kitchen and it just kind of explodes as soon as you have lunch. But anyway, um, I got this, which is a, uh, sorry, I'll just hold that up there. It's an, a lock for yeah. the oven. So this was just recommended to me because even though our oven, you can't feel the heat from the outside, Jed's learnt, well, once last week he actually pulled, uh, he actually, no, he didn't pull the door open, but he was leaning on the handle and it kind of, he fell backwards. Um, and when I've been cooking, I've been having to just use this piece of our gate as a bit of a makeshift. I pull it out to here so that he can't get anywhere near the oven. But twice today, he leant on it and fell backwards. So that's not going to work anymore. So yeah, this one, I'll show you how it works later. Probably the easiest way to do it. Um, and I thought I would just show you, I just received an order from Nourished Life. So I thought I'd just show you what, sorry, I've got no makeup on. I can see, I look a bit dry here. I'll just show you what I received. So we got our, you guys are going to get sick of hearing me talk about this, but this is our toxin free, no nasties bum cream, which I've probably ordered about 15 of those before. And I'm including that in a baby shower present that I'm giving to a friend. I will show you the complete baby shower present once I've gathered everything together. And then I'm, I'm going back to the drawing board of trying out natural deodorants because I, I like to use toxin free stuff where possible. Um, if any of you are interested in that type of thing, the one that has, I found works best for me is called uh, it's like called wild and it's in a green tub and it's a paste it's sold at nourished life but like it's very effective but i can't be bothered with the paste anyway i went and got another one of a different paste it's this one um it's a cute little it's a cute little pot. This is by Le Petit Lab. It's a paste, but it's the consistency is a lot smoother. It feels like it'll be much easier to apply. So I'm gonna give that a go because it had a good rating. Um, if you guys haven't had a look at Nourished Life, I really like it because you can leave reviews on everything. So when you're buying, you're gonna try out something new, you can look at everyone else's ratings and I always leave reviews of, and if I, like, I, you can rate it between one and five and then leave a little write-up. I always do that for everything I buy. And every time you leave a review, you get like a dollar 
towards your next order a dollar off so that's pretty cool um and then i've got this one larice which also had a good rating so i'm hoping that's going to be good my chin's really red i'm hoping that's going to be the winner because i would prefer to get a roll on one um what else can i tell you about nothing for the moment oh mm, no i'll leave it there and i'm just going to probably piece a few things to go together over a few days just to do a little catch up um as far as jed goes he's still cruising around he's not uh walking yet but i'm not worried about that 18 months is the time that apparently you want to see them definitely walking by um he was slightly late to sort of start crawling and things like that so i would say he's right on track for his own development he's got four little teeth at the bottom and he's got a couple that just came up from the top last week um oh <laughs> mommy fell over backwards was <laughs> oh, that funny um we had a very rough few days last week he didn't sleep very well for three nights and we thought oh my gosh he's broken uh but then we noticed that a couple of teeth had emerged from the back so um sorry from the top down so i'd say that's what was causing him the trouble at night so uh that's our little jet update and i'm going to get back to cleaning up my messes and seriously what are you eating on the floor no that's a chili seed i don't know why it's on the ground but you don't want to eat that no 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 are you gonna get sleepy soon and have your nap uh, maybe mm. all right gonna leave this here see ya let's just have a look what jed's having for afternoon tea are you enjoying that yeah i think you are let's have a close-up uh i had a couple of bananas that were about to go off the deep end this morning so i decided to try these muffins they are spinach banana muffins i made them with gluten-free flour as well and they've got maple syrup in them instead of like you know refined sugar so he's just having a treat treat today um, and they're really tasty i like them too so if you want the recipe for that just go over to my instagram um and you'll see a recent post i put the recipe up with the picture of the muffins that's a good muffin you can bite off little bits if you want you've got six whole teeth now so Jetty's new thing is to say uh-oh ever so cutely and then drop things on the ground. Isn't that right, Jed? Have you had enough of your muffin? Mm. Yeah? No. Yes. No? You're... Okay, keep going. Here's your water. Mm. Happy. Happy. So it's 5.30 now. Um, usually at 5.30 I'll get into the kitchen and clean up from the day and then start prepping dinner for 6, 10, 6, 15 ish. But today I let Jed sleep a little bit longer until about 20 past 4 so his bed's going to be pushed back a bit. So anyway, I am waiting a little bit before I prep dinner. But we've just got back from a trip to... Hi, Jenny. Hi. <coughs> there you are. We just went up to pick up something from a parcel collection point. Um, lately, it feels like since forever, I've been working on photos. Like, firstly, organizing my photos on the computer, but then just getting some printed for framing in our house. I was kind of putting off doing this because we are just because we are just renting it sort of feels like I don't want to bother putting up frames and pictures that we're just going to have to take down 
and I'm kind of also just like sending messages to the universe. No, we're not staying here, so we're not going to put photos up on the wall. But I'm kind of sick of, I'm sick of waiting. So <laughs> I'm just going to do it and this will probably be uh, the cue for the universe to get us moving. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you because I've just got some prints taken off Instagram. Um, I had this done before. Hi, darling. Can you sit? Do you want to play with this? I've got this. So I just wanted to show you uh, the Instagram or the square photo thing that I made. This is of our honeymoon. Um, so I've just been printing out some square photos of our from our wedding and of Jed, and I'm going to make two separate square frames of those two things. These these look. Actually, I'm not that happy with these. I think I'm going to have to get them reprinted because... Look, Jenny, you can play with these because I don't think they're going to work. Um, yeah, these aren't going to work because the border falls within the frame. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Look. They're meant to be four inches but the border is gonna go inside the frame. Damn, I'm so disappointed. Ugh, don't you just hate it when you're excited about making something and, ah, that's annoying. Oh well, at least I've got some photos I can give to other people and whatever, but I just won't be able to use them for that. I'm gonna have to try and figure out who I printed those pics with because they're the right size. I might have to crack that open and look on the printing on the back. Oh well, this was a pretty uneventful little thing. I'm going to to turn off this now and um, hang out with Jed for a bit and then start dinner in about 10. Okay, bye. Morning everyone. Today's Saturday. Um, Lindsay has actually gone shopping today for suits with some groomsmen. Well, he's a groomsman for an upcoming wedding. So they've gone shopping. I just said the same thing twice. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Jed and I are at home today. Probably majority of the day, I'd say. I um, mean, I just wanted to say that I have such respect for ladies or like single moms, single parents, or ladies that, you know, have husbands that are fly in, fly out, or work six days, because I really feel it having, like, I know it's just a little bit of what you're used to, but I'm used to being able to have a bit of a breather on Saturdays. So, you know, Lindsay will be able to play with Jed and occupy him and, you know, just to have company and stuff. And being on for a six day in a row is kind of like, you kind of, you kind of feel it a little bit. Anyway, I'm just making a cup of tea. I've just put Jed down for sleep. He was resisting it a little bit, so hopefully he will go off. Um, so I just wanted to do a basically end to this little vlog, which is just, was just a few bits and pieces really. Um, I wanted to tell you, we'll just talk a little bit about how I'm finding it difficult at the moment, the thought of, um, ending breastfeeding. So I talked about this in a recent video and I never expected it to feel hard like this. It's just not something that I kind of thought about at all. Um, but so what I've done, I've cut out the morning feed. So now I'm just doing morning, evening and through the night as well. Funnily enough, ever since I cut out the mid morning feed, he's woken every single night for a feed where previously he was sleeping through about half the nights of the week. So that's interesting. Um, whether it's a calorie thing, I'm not sure because I have been offering him other milk. Um, anyway, so it should be interesting when I cut out the next one, which will be in about a week. 
we're actually going on holidays tomorrow just up to the Gold Coast for a week and when I get back I'll cut out the morning feed but the thing that I've been finding the most difficult um, a few times in the middle of the night when I've um, been given Jed a middle of the night feed I've gotten really sad just thinking about not being able to do that with him anymore not being able to have that special bond um, and when I think about because I have set a date to cut it off um, and when I think about like doing that last feed and putting him back into his cot for the last time after like the last feed I just get so upset and um, like I've just gone to bed crying and crying because I'm so sad and I feel guilty and I feel just I guess mourning that loss of that type of connection. I was talking to a, a friend who's a mum of two boys, young boys, um, I think two and a half and four, nearly five. And she was just saying, um, but there's so many other beautiful, lovely times to come. So it's just a season and yeah, I know that's true and I'll be okay. And I'm so lucky to have been able to have this experience with him. Um, it just doesn't make it any easier when you're going through it. So I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm really nervous and I know that I'm just gonna be terribly upset because for the other milestones, like when we moved him in to his own room, I found that incredibly difficult. And so not looking forward to that, but. <sighs> anyway, um, so what's happening for the rest of today? Dead to sleep, I'm gonna try and do some work. And after that, we're either gonna go and watch my niece play soccer or we might go to Miranda and do a bit of shopping. Because as I said, we're going away tomorrow and I actually have so few clothes at the moment. I just, either stuff doesn't fit or it's not warm enough or whatever. Not warm enough. Not warm enough? Whatever, I just need more clothes. Anyway, now I'm just procrastinating. I am gonna end this here. I'm not gonna take any more footage of that. So thank you for watching this little random catch up and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.